Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly wrap up. I'm actually really excited to record this because last week I tried to like pre-record this. I don't know if it's like a big deal or even matters, but I've been waiting to talk to you guys because I miss you guys and I miss just talking to you guys and telling you guys about like all the updates on the books I've read. And last month I or like a few weeks ago actually just a week ago yeah it was just a week ago i tried filming this video and just like every piece of technology was just plummeting and everything was just falling apart but i actually just ordered a new camera and i'm so excited i'm just so excited to kind of upgrade things more on my channel so hopefully everything works good and yeah so i'm going to be diving right into the books i've read this month i'm so excited to share them with you guys because i found some really good books that i'm so excited to just let you guys know how I feel about them and why they're so great. Okay, so starting with our first book of the month, um, I, it was actually a book from the library and it's Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Other than the cover being freakishly gorgeous, I unfortunately it DNF'd it. I loved it, I did enjoy it while I read it, but I think at the time I was kind of going through like a reading slump and trying to read that was just, a little bit too it was too intricate which it was not like a bad thing it's a beautiful thing at that moment it was just not the best thing for me to dive into after a reading slump to kind of ease into it and i feel like one of the biggest things about reading slumps is just easing yourself into books and just into reading like you don't force yourself to read too many books and you don't force yourself to read some heavy books just something more light to get you back into reading so i did dnf it at page 88 unfortunately i had to return it back to the library but i also rented out the audiobook from the library so i'm gonna start finishing it because i really liked it and i really enjoyed it and yeah i don't really want to go too into about until I fully finished it. So that was my first book and unfortunately it was a DNF. But the next book I did read was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover and it's just one of the most viral books on throughout media and like everywhere. It's TikTok, book talk. I did do a whole reading vlog on it so I'll just put it up right here but I did rate this. I think it was like a, I think the only reason, I'm probably gonna go with more of a four star read. I did enjoy it and I had fun with it. Okay, I don't wanna say I had fun with it because it's pretty of a heavy book. I didn't start getting into it till maybe halfway and I shared more of my thoughts onto that video so I'm not gonna go super in depth with it. The first half of it, I'm gonna be honest, it was really slow and I think I wasn't as, I don't know, intrigued by it. I think I was just waiting for the heavy hitter and like what everybody was saying was making this book so intense and then so the first half of it, like there is parts where it's pretty intense. I think it was just a slow build but I think they have to do that in order for you to kind of grasp like the characters, their personal perspectives on things and their upbringing and yeah, I think that's why. So the book, I would probably rate it like a four star read. I think just because the the second half is when it started to get crazy and intense and that's where I was starting to get more hooked. Again, I don't want to go too in depth because I did already kind of go into this. So four star read and I finally read this. So I feel like my assignment is complete and I am done. I'm done. Okay, and the next book I did read was a novella because I was still kind of in my reading slump and I wanted something quick. I kind of went back and forth on picking it up because I would kind of read like the first page and then I was like, I don't know if I want to read this. And it's just, that's just the whole process of a reading slump. You kind of go back and forth. The book I read was Under One Roof by Allie Hazelwood. This is just a really quick novella, but I freaking love this. So I rated it like, a, I rated it a five star read. I don't know if I can give much justice to it because it's just a novella. For a novella, I feel like the characters were fleshed out really well and the like interactions between between the characters were just so intriguing and interesting and it was so hilarious and funny it just kept me hooked the entire time there were so many sweet parts within it and yeah it was just for a novella it was also definitely like a slow burn i just felt like it was a really good book so if you are in a reading slump or just want something quick i would definitely recommend this for like a rom-com type read because it was so good it was i'm gonna be honest i don't know if i'm allowed to really like i could be canceled for saying this i guess not canceled but i could just be like no that's wrong but in terms of this and like love hypothesis, I would probably be choosing this book a little bit more just because I felt like it was so much more fun and so much more funnier. I don't know. I just felt like I was so interested in the entire time because everything was just, every chapter was so fun and interesting. And it was just such a fast paced read. I mean, a given because it's a novella, but it was easy for me to dive into. <gasps> Okay, so the next book I'm excited to share with you guys is A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy Lin. And I actually just got this book because I was going on a Target run with one of my friends and I just decided I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna pick it up because when the ambiance is right, the environment's just positive and happy and you're just gonna you're gonna decide to get the book so i decided to get this book and i did not expect this to be as good as i thought it was going to be so i kind of talked about this in like one of my 10 spring books that you can read 
or 10 books you can read for spring it sounded really intriguing so it's like a magic system within these villages and these communities or provinces i guess you can say they utilize tea in order to bring about like magical abilities and for like different purposes so like agility healing like i think you could see like the past there's just so much different things but of course there's consequences with it this book just provided such an immersive world it was so immersive i adored the characters i love the like found friendships i love like hearing about the different perspective of each province and then like the type of political sense on it and it wasn't political because it was boring because i think i believe don't quote me on this but i believe this is a young a ya so it was really easy to get into but it was just for a ya i feel like it was so detailed and so intricate i was so obsessed with this book i had so much fun with it each chapter had like something intense in it where i was like oh my gosh wait i have to like read the next one so i i feel like i just ran through this book really fast and there is a second one which of course the cover is beautiful just like this one so it's like <laughs> So yeah, I just, I was obsessed. I had so much fun with it. And even like the creatures and the spiritual parts within the book were like creepy and like heinous, but it was so, it was so fun. It wasn't like where it was too creepy, but it was where it was like a little bit like intense. I, I can't really explain it, but I feel like the way she described like the spiritual creatures, the monsters, even the spiritual like entities or like the folklore within this book, there's a lot of folklore and like history, not like born history, but there's a lot of folklore that is like woven within these stories of the book and it wasn't like anything where it's like historic it's not like a historical read at least i wouldn't say so because i don't think i can really get into like historical reads like that but this is definitely not like a historical read it's just when they reference like different folklores about like for example one of them was when there's like lily pads they said that the reason why there's lily pads is because a dragon i think it was a dragon or like a serpent that's the droplets of its blood and that's why everywhere lily pla lily pads are present that's another sign of the droplets i just felt like it was so fun this was such a fun book and yeah i just definitely recommend this it was a five star read for sure the second one is is it's good because like whenever it comes to the first book the first book's always amazing and the second book it's always like i don't know you know i had so much fun and she wrote this so beautifully it was so poetic it was so fun just like hearing all the different histories and putting yourself in like the positions of each character and i love the interactions between the guards and like their different provinces and like how they all interact with each other they kind of like support each other even though they're all working for one palace and it was just really cool like this there's just so much there's like action in it there's a little bit of romance but i feel like it was just enough romance there's just so much like sweet moments and some harsh moments and yeah so i definitely recommend this book if you have not tried it because it was a beautiful book it was just perfect okay so these next two books i am gonna go into they're like manga or manga i haven't read it for so long that i kind of forgot how to say it so quote me if i'm wrong but i think it's like manga or manga but so my reading slump i wasn't in a reading slump after a magic steven poison i feel like that's what pulled me out of my reading slump it was one of those books that just made me feel like i freaking love reading but i wanted something afterwards and i didn't know what i wanted because that book was so good and i just decided to try heartstopper by alice oseman and this book is so freaking cute i decided to just take the whim also because it's really cheap on amazon compared to like target and walmart this book is so freaking cute i just feel like the representation with within it was just so innocent so sweet and so understanding and the graphics within it are just so freaking adorable like i'm gonna show you guys one without i don't want to spoil anything but oh, i'm like really picky about what i'm gonna show you guys how about i just show you guys like the first page okay or kind of the first page but like look it's so cute i just love the color schemes of this book and it kind of pulled me into wanting to read more graphic novels because i literally updated my goodreads which i should probably link onto my account literally updated my goodreads and just started looking into more graphic novels and i want to read the second one and yeah i had so much fun with it it was really quick i finished in it like within i think like 47 minutes i actually timed myself and it was so fun i just loved everything about it i had so much fun with it, it was adorable and sweet and innocent and really kind of kept me wanting to read more so definitely recommend the next one i read was a manga and it is by tatsuya endo and i have not read anime or manga i have not watched anime or manga or manga i don't know i could be saying wrong i haven't done this in so long i'm like it's just i haven't read these in so long but i used to be obsessed with manga growing up like i was obsessed i would every time i went to the library that was the section i always went to the most i would just always watch anime before school i just i don't know what happened i just kind of fell off of it but i've always still wanted to be a part of that world but i decided to give it a try i feel like heartstopper kind of opened 
opened up this like whole graphic novel type of love for everything again and I am freaking obsessed with this. It was just so funny and so hilarious and it just reminded me of how much I love like anime and I would definitely recommend this. I'm pretty sure you guys have probably already read it. Just give it a try because it's so funny and it's so cute. So it's about this spy and he's on like this mission and it's involving like having to have like a fake family. So he has to find like a wife and a, a child in order for the child to enroll into the school so that he can get like more of a close encounter with some guy part of his mission where that's the only place he's present because that's where he takes his children hey guys editing me here um so i just wanted to make sure that i didn't spoil it for anybody so this part is going to be marked off as like mild spoilers i just wanted to be safe and i'm not even for sure if this is really a spoiler but i just yeah i'm not trying to risk it but yeah okay okay bye <laughs> So he finds like his fake wife who is actually an assassin and then his little he adopts a little girl and her name's Anya and she's so freaking adorable like I understand the so like I understand the hype with her because she's so freaking cute and I think the thing with Yor is that she's an assassin which they don't know that she doesn't know that he's a spy and he doesn't know that she's an assassin and Anya is like a telepath which she knows they both like one's an assassin I think she knows that you're an assassin she, and she knows for sure that Lloyd is a spy but they don't know that she's a telepath and it's just, it's just so freaking funny and so cute and it's just just like trust me on it it's just, I have not heard any one bad thing about this I decided to give it a try and I'm so freaking glad I did because I'm obsessed and I'm so glad that there's so many to choose, like so many volumes because it's gonna be something I'm gonna be stuck with for a long time and I'm not complaining about it I'm excited I have my next book on hold at the library so i'm just waiting for my turn but oh i, I love it. it brought me back into like reading manga again and we actually started watching like our old animes so we started watching like naruto at night and yeah this was just it really and actually the reason why i started reaching out to like, graphic novels and anime or like manga as i should say is because i was kind of getting into a reading slump and the spy family i kind of read before magic steeped in poison so i was still kind of in my reading slump i decided to plunge and just read these and it definitely helps so if you are a reading slump i would definitely recommend doing like a graphic novel or a manga because it actually really helped me get out of my reading slump and pulled me back out again so so worth it so much fun okay so the last book i'm gonna go over is the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes and i did a whole reading vlog on this along with my review and my thoughts obsessed so in the video i did rate it like i think like a 4.7 but i'm gonna change it to like a 5 because i am obsessed with this i feel like this book kept me interested it was one of those books where you read and you're like okay yeah I am definitely, I love reading. I'm obsessed with reading. And it's pretty much just about this girl named Avery. She gets an inheritance and she kind of has like a hard upbringing, but she gets an inheritance for like a billion, million, I don't know, like a giant, all this money, like an abundant amount of money, homes and everything just from this really, really rich person. And she doesn't know him. She doesn't even know like why she's getting all this. But then it kind of comes down to, it's like a mini, I guess like a mini, like she's against also her, his grandsons, kind of the rest of the family. There is like romance in this. So this is like a romance or mystery romance. And it was so freaking good. Like every chapter was short. So I just flew through this book and every chapter had something really interesting in it there was like riddles and like puzzles in it which i found really fun i think in terms of characters i definitely love the characters in the book like everybody has their own characteristics and i love that like i loved how all the characters were i loved how they're represented i loved how fast and easy this was to read so if you are kind of looking for something like quick and like easy to get through i would definitely recommend this i'm excited to start the next one i actually got the next one before i finished this one so i'm excited to dive into it and yeah totally recommend definitely recommend okay so that is it for my wrap up of this month i actually feel like I found so many great books and I reopened my love for graphic novels and manga again and I'm just so happy that I found all these books so if you guys are interested in looking for any books I would definitely recommend checking some of these out especially some of the five star reads I found because they helped me remind me that reading is still there even when you're in a reading slump because my reading slump was so bad since the beginning of the year and I just don't know why I feel like ever since then I'm like kind of like on a reader's high but yeah I would definitely recommend these books I'm so happy I got to talk to you guys again and share my thoughts with you guys and my ratings and I'll see you guys on the next video bye Thank you.